Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the TIE Striker expansion for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. I've done a number of these videos already, so you're probably familiar with the format. I go over the pilot cards, the upgrade cards, the model itself, and the maneuvers. I don't bother touching on the tokens. You guys by now should already know what the tokens are, and I'm not going to explain what a focus token is 600 times. So <laughs> let's just go ahead and move on to the model. This is what it looks like. There's the top. And here's what it looks like from the front. From my understanding, this is an atmospheric fighter. This was in the Rogue One movie. Don't know too much about it. I just got these uh, expansions in the mail today. Um, I also uh, got some other ships, which I'll be covering shortly. Now, as far as the pilots are concerned, let's go ahead and start with those. Alright, so we've got the Duchess Pilot Skill of 8. 3, 2, 4, 0 are the stats on this. And the special ability is when you have the adaptive... Alarian's upgrade card? I don't know what that is. Uh, you may choose to ignore its card ability. In fact, it may be down here somewhere in the upgrade deck, so we'll check that out shortly. Focus, Barrel, Roll, and Evade. It has the Elite upgrade here and a cost of 23 points. The next one is Pure Sabacc. I remember Sabacc from Knights of the Old Republic, KOTOR. It's a PC game I used to play. Anyway, it was a card game. Uh, six pilot skill, when attacking, if you have one or fewer damage cards, uh, roll one additional attack die. Okay, you've got uh, 22 squad cost and the elite symbol down here as well. Next up is countdown. Pilot skill of five, no upgrades. Cost of 20, special ability. When defending, if you are not stressed during the compare result step, you may suffer one damage to cancel all dice results. If you do receive one stress token, huh? And last but not least, Black Squadron Scout is a no-named, no-ability thing. Pilot skill 4. It has an upgrade, though, which is very strange. Uh, you'd think that Countdown would have one, too, seeing it has a higher pilot skill, but whatever. Cost of 20. Oh, there's also this Scarif Defender. I thought that was it. Oh, there's more. Check that out. Okay, normally there's only one named, no-named, but th in this case there's three of them. That's interesting. A Scarif Defender, Pilot Skill 3, cost of 18. No ability. And the Imperial Trainee. This is, I guess, the Alpha Squadron Pilot equivalent. Uh, pilot Skill 1, cost of 17. No upgrades or anything like that. Comes with a few reference cards, modification and upgrades, and Segner's Loop. Speaking of Segner's Loop, why don't we check out its uh, maneuvers? Alright, so I, I saved this. Usually I throw these away, but uh, you can see it doesn't go above speed 4, which may reflect the fact that it's, you know, more of an atmospheric fighter. But uh, it seems like a lot of green maneuver is going straight, for sure. Uh, it does have the Segner's Loop and a K turn, which is kind of nice. Okay, on to the upgrade cards. There's only a few here, only three, in fact. Swarm Leader. Now, this is new. I don't think I've seen this. When performing a primary weapon attack, choose up to two other friendly ships that have the defender inside their firing arcs at range 1 to 3. Remove one evade token from each chosen ship to roll one additional attack die for each token removed. Wow, that is awesome. So you could take a lot of evades and then use this to up your damage. That's interesting. That has a cost of 3. It's an elite uh, talent. Lightweight frame, tie only modification. When defending, after rolling defense dice, if there are more attack dice than defense dice, roll one additional defense die. Huh. You cannot equip this card if your agility value is three or higher. So, I mean, it makes sense to use it with this. It has a cost of two. Adaptive Alar. I'm going to butcher that. Al Alarians? Okay, whatever. Tie striker only title. Immediately before you reveal your dial, if you are not stressed, you must execute a right, left, uh, straight, or right maneuver. Interesting. Huh. So what would be the point of that? You must execute a right. Oh, that's weird. So why would I, why would I ever want to use, I'm trying to think of why I'd want to use this title. I mean, the one Duchess here lets me ignore it. I mean, and it's a white maneuver on top of it. So, I don't understand. Why would I, why would I limit myself? I mean, these are green maneuvers here. So why would I do that? Hmm. 
That's weird. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to like read some forms or something and try and figure out what the advantage of that would be. But yeah, you've got these other things here. I'm not gonna get into that. But that's a quick look at the Tie Striker expansion. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I've got three other expansions to get through. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, just as a quick addition, I just realized the first part of this card. Immediately before you reveal your dial, if you are not stressed, you must execute. So this will let you move twice, basically. So that is the advantage of having this title. But um, let's say, like, sort of like when you're cloaked with a TIE Phantom, uh, you know, you have the option to decloak, you move once, and then you execute. Similar to this, but you must do it if you have it equipped. The pilot here, the Duchess, lets you ignore that. So you don't have to use this title if you don't want to. Uh, if you have it equipped, you have to use it. So it lets you move twice, in effect, which is kind of cool. I can, I can see this actually being useful. So there you go. That's the addition. Again, stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.